हो गया देखो सूरज में कुछ है सूरज में कुछ है यार देखो देखो सूरज में कुछ है उधर 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 वो चेक करो चेक करो चेक करो Isn't it funny how you point at something and people will start following you blindly? There is nothing in the sun, well, except lots of energy that the sun continuously gives off. The light that you see and the heat that you feel, these are all different forms of energy that come straight from the sun. So, let's go and find out more about energy. Have you ever wondered what would happen if there was no sun? Why don't you think while I have this glass of lemonade with you? Thank you. It's so refreshing to have this thanda ganne ka ras in this heat. But you know what would happen if I left this glass in the sun? The glass and the juice are going to heat up. What do you think heat is? Why don't you pause this video and talk to an adult about it while I come back. A few moments later. See, when something hot becomes cold, we say that it has lost heat. And when something cold becomes hot, we say that it has gained heat or that heat has been added to it. So far we know that heat comes from the sun. That is because the sun is a source of heat. Can you name some other sources of heat? Main aata hu. Two very boring minutes later. Some sources of heat are natural such as the sun, while others are made by humans which are called artificial or man-made sources of heat such as a stove or a candle or an electric heater. Now from the sources that we discussed can you identify natural and man made sources of heat and can you also think of any other sources of heat I'll read again People animals and plants use the heat from the sun We use the sun's heat to dry our clothes and other objects Plants also use the heat from the sun to grow and stay alive If plants do not get enough heat from the sun they will not be able to make enough food their leaves will wilt and fall off from the stem they will stop growing shoots and flowers they'll die kids they'll die it's so sad there are other sources of heat besides the sun as well for example we use the heat from burning gas or wood to cook our food We also use the heat from electrical appliances or equipment to smoothen our clothes and other fabrics. Is three much? Can you think of some other uses of heat? The garmi lag rahi hai bhai main nahi reh sakta yahan. A few minutes later. Heat is continuous. You cannot have two or three or four of heat. If you keep a heat source on you will continuously gain heat and when you remove or switch off the heat source you will stop gaining heat Take for example a candle the wax melts and becomes a liquid when it gains heat so the wax starts melting when we light the wick Here's the thing though it does not stop melting when we put out the fire So what happens when you remove this heat source like putting out the candle or turning off the stove on which you are making tea you'd still feel a bit of heat around the object the object that was gaining heat will now start losing that heat to the air around it this is because the object is cooler than the air surrounding the object so how do we define heat heat is the kind of energy that is transferred from a hot object to a cool object If I hide from the sun under the shade of this tree I feel less hot Also if you notice it's darker under this tree Ever wondered why This is because the sun gives off energy in more than one ways It does not just give off heat it also gives off light And this tree is blocking both heat and light That is why it is less hot and darker under the shade of this tree So what do you think light is 
ओहो न्यूटन मोमेंट एक सेकंड जो नीम का पेड़ है यार बहुत सॉरी यार ये दे मेरा वापस कर दे ओह हां कोई बात नहीं सम सोर्सेज ऑफ लाइट आर नेचुरल सच एज द सन while others are made by humans which are called artificial or man made sources of light such as a flashlight from the sources we discussed can you identify natural and man made sources of light and can you also think of any other sources of light hmm we need light to be able to read and work when it is dark light helps us to see we need light to be able to drive on the road at night we need light to cook our dinner a plant needs sunlight to make food and survive you see well you're able to see because of light if there was no light you will not be able to see when you're in a room for example and the lights are switched off Light is the type of energy that reflects off of surfaces and goes into our eyes and that is how we're able to see. Don't believe me? Close your eyes and tell me what you see. Nothing. You see darkness. That is because there is no light entering your eyes. Guys, uh can we switch on the lights please? Guys? Uh Guys, mujhe 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 darr lagta hai bhai andhere mein. Guys, guys, hello. Did you know that there are kinds of light that we cannot see? Mobile signals, radio signals and TV signals are types of light that you cannot see. The remote control for your TV or any other electronic device runs on light that you cannot see. Have you ever had an accident and gotten an x-ray done? X-rays are also light that you cannot see. That's the thing about energy. Energy is not something that you see. it is something that you feel you feel hot in the summer and cold in the winter you feel afraid in the darkness because you cannot see you feel safer and happier when there is light energy affects your mood a lot and since you know that energy is of different types there is another really important type of energy that has the greatest effect on your mood sound sound is just a series of vibrations See, when I run this bow on a string, the string vibrates. Because of these vibrations, the air particles around the string, they vibrate, and we say that a sound wave is set up. This wave reaches your ear and it makes your eardrum vibrate. And your brain tells you that it is sound that you're hearing, and a very particular sound that you're hearing. Now, Now I'm going to play something very complex on this instrument. Please pay attention. Well, that was just twinkle twinkle little star if you couldn't tell. Just like heat and light, sound also comes from different sources, some of which are natural, such as the thunder that you hear after lightning or wind. Uh, or flowing streams of water or your own voice. There are also artificial sources of sound or sounds that you can produce using objects or instruments, such as musical instruments like the violin that i was playing or maybe a harmonium or a guitar or drums or the siren on an ambulance notice how the sound gets louder when it is coming towards you and it fades out as it goes away that by the way is called the doppler effect you will study this at some point in your life or you can search on the internet and find out There are many uses of sound. It helps us communicate. Without sound this whole video will be very boring, not to mention impossible to understand. It can also help warn us from danger.
But sound can also mean good things. Like you'd hear a bell go off when this period is over. Yay! Yay! Sound can entertain us. When sound is produced in patterns, there are some patterns that we enjoy. Ever wondered how or why that particular song sounds good? Or how everyone's favorite song is different? Sound is my favorite form of energy because I absolutely love music. So, let me tell you a little bit about music. There are some sounds that sound nice and they form a certain pattern, like this. I'm sure you must have heard this somewhere. This is simply the major scale. Sa re ga ma pa dha ni sa sa ni dha pa ma ga re sa. Notice how this is cheerful, calming, soothing and generally a happy sound, right? But let me change the pattern and you'll notice the difference. See how this suddenly becomes a bit dark and sad and it changes the mood instead of this. Now we have Sound is my favorite form of energy because I absolutely love music. So let me tell you a bit about music. Just like there are lights that you can and cannot see, there are also sounds that you can and cannot hear. The sounds that you can hear are called audible sounds. The sounds that you cannot hear are called inaudible sounds. The most popular example of this is the ultrasound. We use ultrasound to look inside the body using sound. Weird, right? This is what a baby looks like inside a mother's body. Ultrasound, by the way, is also used in sonars, which use sound to look for things under the sea, such as fish or submarines or maybe parties. So far, we've talked about three different forms of energy, and we have also discussed how most energy is not something that we can see, except visible light. Energy is not something that we can touch or even smell for that matter. We discussed that energy is something that we feel and that changes in energy can also change how we feel. For example, when light reflects or when the music changes or when we step out of a cold room and suddenly start feeling hot. Energy is everywhere and energy is what this entire universe is made up of. So. What exactly is the definition of energy? Energy is defined as the ability to do work. And what is work? We'll find out in the video on work and machine.